Yo fam, what is good? In today's video, I'm showing you the new Outriders beta. I'm absolutely loving it so far. I've done all four characters already. And from the four characters, I am liking Devastator the most. In this video, I just want to kind of go over the differences, the similarities to other games that we've been playing lately and what we think about this game so far. What I think the future holds for this game. Should you get this game? I'm going to try to answer all those questions in this video right here. But personally, I love the game so far. And I'm pretty excited for the future of this game. And I hope you are too, right? Four different classes in this game. And right now, this is, to me, the strongest class. And it, I know the game just came out. But bro, like, being able to just tank and kill everything is my playstyle. And that's why I feel like this game is going to be an awesome addition to my library. And I'm probably going to play it pretty often, okay? All right, let's get it, yo. All right, fam, here we are, man. Outriders, every single platform you can download this on PlayStation, PC, Xbox, you name it. We can also cross-play together. So in the settings, check it out. Enable that cross-play if you want to play with your friends. Also, this game is the beginning of the opening chapter, all right? The prologue. Also, you're going to have access to all four characters. I went over all four characters today on stream. And basically, you're going to be able to play up to level seven and world tier five difficulty. You're going to get a, a lot of nice gear from level seven up to like level nine. But you're only going to be able to get to level seven. I was playing with some level nine gear, though, uh, killing some ads, some bosses. They were dropping level nine gear, which is pretty dope. All right. So Outrider releases April 1st. So this is, there's no time limit on this demo. You can play as much as you want over and over. Try out the different classes. See if you like them. Try the different skills. And I'm going to show you all of that right now. All right. So here I have all four characters. Trickster was my main character. Really nice. We also played some Pyromancer. We played some Devastator and some Technomancer. The four different classes right now in the game. I personally like the Devastator the most followed by trickster then pyromancer and lastly technomancer technomancer kind of reminds me of the skilled damage builds in uh, the division and devastator is like a straight tank from destiny pyromancer is just straight dps kind of from rogue company i feel like that one was real nice and trickster is just an insane hunter that just slides everywhere does all type of stuff but yeah this game has a lot of similarities to other games but like it's it's its own unique kind of feel you know but it does make you feel like a, a lot of other vibes like cover to cover movement also you have a lot of different skills you also have builds i feel you can make in this game right so let me show you for example let's go ahead and all right, let's go with our, our Destro character. That way I could kind of show you a, a little build real quick. And what I what I think we're going to be able to do in the future with this game. And once we get to end game, you know, the higher levels, we're going to be able to wreck. All right. So there's different world tiers in this game, kind of similar to the division where it progressively gets harder. Every world tier you go up in this game, you also have a loot that you can get by going to the next world tier. And then uh, a bunch of different descriptions that it gives you, right? So as far as, let me go ahead and go over what I say. This is your inventory right here, all right? So you can get all these weapons and you can just uh, trash them. Kind of similar to a uh, div right here. Any helmets you don't need, just trash them, right? Or any other game. Right here, you have some gear that is going to be like different levels of gear, right? So you're going to have your basic gear, your commons, your uncommons, then your rares your legendaries etc so right here we're on our blue stage which in my opinion is the rarer gear right so right here we have on this piece of gear you're gonna see on a regular piece of gear you don't have any talents on this piece of gear we have a talent all right i don't know what the end gear is gonna look like i don't know if we're gonna be able to have mod attachments etc etc i don't really know right now but right here i know that we have talents right now on the gear and this is phenomenal okay so with this i was playing around and i was messing around and just slamming bosses going through them on the highest tier which is world tier five right now that's all we can do and i was using golem all right this is the skill 
you have different skills right here you can obtain up to eight of them once you get to level 22 you'll be able to unlock this right now i have four of them unlocked because you can only go up to level seven in this uh in this demo right so right here you have different skills i'll make different videos for these i'm just gonna i just want to give you an overall broad kind of understanding of the game and what i've learned of playing it from today so right here the skill number two is called golem and you fortify yourself 65 percent of incoming damage for 12 seconds okay so fortify yourself against 65 percent of damage all right so now if you wanted to you can make a little build already all right so right here i'll go over and i'll grab this chest so with this helmet and this chest they both have talents for my golem so my chest has the golem talent when the skill is active it extends its duration by 1.5 percent for each kill or 1.5 seconds for each kill excuse me i also have a helmet that increases the skills duration by 50 percent so anything anytime i use this golem i'm just smacking i have it up the i'm super armored i also every time i get a kill it extends it for 1.5 seconds and i believe this is giving me 50 percent more seconds so I, I believe this is for three seconds right or like two seconds it it's, gives you an extension on the talent and that's all i'm trying to tell you right now or the skill excuse me it gives you that extension and that's what makes me feel real good about the future of this game having different builds and being able to make different synergies having different characters and being able to fight against different bosses all right so right here we have a lot of nice weapons these weapons also have talents the higher you go into the game so right here you can see a common weapon has no talents right this uh, has no talents either and then when we come over here we have a talent on our blue weapon okay so right here is first things first this is a weapon life leech and all the weapons well most of the weapons have different type of talents right some of them have the same weapon life leech but from the beta what i've noticed is that they so most of them have different talents right so first things first the first shot after every reload it's with armor piercing increased by 30 percent. all right so on some other weapons i don't have any here unfortunate but uh on some other weapons you're able to get like health per kill if you don't reload you get like health per every kill so a lot of different things if you get the last shot you get health on kill so a lot of cool different things that i've been noticing and i'm really actually uh stoked for okay so right here we also have a class skill tree and you can basically go whichever way you want right here i personally am using the devastator and i'm going towards my anomaly reservoir what happens when you go towards that anomaly is that it gives you anomaly power okay so right now i'm at 272 166 plus 106 gives me that 272 and this anomaly power increases the damage dealt by melee melee is super strong in this game skills any skill you use is going to be stronger because of this anomaly power being higher and then the status effects all right the increase is displayed in the skill damage bonus statistic all right so we got a skill damage bonus right now 63.9 once again that's probably super low right now once we get into the higher end game it's going to be phenomenal we're going to be super powerful and we're also going to be fighting against enemies that are super strong too okay firepower basically dps you already know how that goes stamina right here health and then we have armor okay armor is dope some of the characters use armor all right, right here we have accolades and you can choose and you can claim these rewards we have emotes we have banners and we have a uh, banner customization so this is real cool for your progression if you want to like just 100 percent the game you have different ways to do that right here with teamwork you got different classes right here technomancer also right here we have teamwork we got progression there's so many different accolades you can uh, farm up or, or work hard on that's pretty dope but let me go ahead and show you the, the higher spot of the tree so this goes up whenever you go up you're getting usually weapon damage um right here you're getting health usually and then the bottom is going to give you like that anomaly and you know buff up your skills right so that's all up to you how you want to build your character that's just one super cool thing you can do also also you have world tiers and you can choose what world tier you want you can have it on auto set highest world tier available which i have on so while i'm just playing i don't have to really worry about uh coming over here and picking what world tier i'm trying to play on but right here you also every time you go to a higher world tier it gets a little harder like i said and you're able to claim rewards so that's pretty cool
right here i claim that and then i'll claim this unusual uh, gear so then we come over here you choose your world tiers that way your difficulty is on a level that you are enjoying and you're not like killing yourself to play on a difficulty that you're not really enjoying all right so like i said once you start getting some of this better gear on the higher levels they're going to give you talents and you're going to be able to synergize that really good with your build like i use this on my earthquake which is my first skill which he slams the ground and just destroys any enemy, enemy in his path usually and that's going to increase that skill right it's going to give it 60 percent more range so if i wanted to to build around my earthquake skill i will go ahead and do that right so that's basically more or less i just wanted to kind of touch on everything for you just to tell you man give this game a chance i promise you you most likely won't regret it especially right now since it's free to play right it's a beta check it out you might enjoy it then you could go ahead and uh purchase the full game right so right here we have resources scrap you use these in basically a tower type of area right here we have different vendors that we can uh, talk to and i personally like a lot of things of the game right now for one i like the movement in the game i also like the story of the game so far the story is really like captivating and, and i'm super intrigued in knowing like what's gonna happen in the future another thing i like is a uh, little ping system gps right here shows you exactly where you're trying to go come on over here this is kind of like your area before you go into battle right here we have a stash that we cannot use during the demo but in my opinion i'm guessing that this is going to let allow you to transfer gear in between characters gear and weapons you know that's just an assumption right now right here we have the appearance that you could change we also have reload stations all over which is phenomenal we have fast traveling which you can travel anywhere on this map right now you can also uh grab side missions side quests right now in the demo and uh tell me what you think about that right you also have matchmaking right here find a party and then lastly you could just uh get busy over there but um, I've already done the beta on all the characters. I had a pretty extensive session today. This is and I personally think that this game is going to be one of the best games this year. And I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. And just a little quick overview of what I think of the game. And why I think you should play it. Give it a chance. And you might like it. You might really, really be surprised. And I hope you guys stay blessed. And I'll catch you on the next stream. Make sure you check the description down below for the link. As the and I'll catch you later, baby. Stay blessed. Humanity destroy themselves. The signal is still out there. And with it oh, yeah. lies the key to our salvation. Oh, yeah, baby. I'm not going to spoil it, though. Check it out. Download it. It's free. Do it now, now, now. Peace, baby.